Sponsored by bankruptcy attorney E. Orem Young. And now, Storm Tracker Weather with meteorologist Brian Briggs. Well, good Monday morning to you. The time is now 841, and we're off to a beautiful start for our Monday and the week. However, this is going to change dramatically as soon as tomorrow as uh, more impacts from the tropics start to be felt in our area. But at least right now, live radar really not showing anything going on. And most of the day will remain quiet like this. However, as moisture from Marco starts to filter into our area, that's when we'll start to see the changes. So where is Marco right now? Well, it's in uh, parts of the Gulf here holding at tropical storm strength, but it is uh, decreasing in max winds at about 50 miles per hour. But notice a lot of the shower and thunderstorm activity has been along the Florida panhandle, at least uh, through the good deal of the morning. Circulation, though, is off towards the southwest, and this is still on track to eventually make its way towards uh, the Louisiana coastline and eventually into Texas until it eventually fizzles out. That shower and thunderstorm activity, though, will continue to ride around that circulation, and that's what will provide the chance for showers and thunderstorms, at least uh, for our area for Tuesday into Wednesday. But that's about all we're going to see from Marco. Really not looking like too much of an impactful situation here for us, but the one thing that we do need to keep an eye out on is this storm, Tropical Storm Laura. And right now, still going uh, just south of Cuba here and is moving west-northwest at 21 miles per hour. And it's getting to that point where it's going to be getting to that critical point of what we'll see what happens ultimately with the circulation and its development when it gets into the open gulf. It's been interacting with a lot of land the last couple days, which has kind of kept a lid on development here, but all bets are off once the system gets into the Gulf of Mexico. And at least right now, the National Hurricane Center has this system eventually turning into a Category 2 hurricane as it makes landfall somewhere near the Texas-Louisiana border on the coast. That does include the Arklamis in the path as it eventually races off towards the north once it does make landfall and eventually we'll be dealing with the system no longer by the time we get towards the Friday time frame. So later Wednesday into Thursday is when the system is going to look like it's going to impact the Arklamis and this one, depending on how strong the storm is when it comes in, will ultimately determine how much impact we're going to see here in the Arklamis. Certainly not out of the realm of possibility seeing a tropical system here and definitely that potential for some severe weather and even some flooding at times. Details will continue to get ironed out as we get closer to uh, that day. But until then, we're just going to be dealing with some isolated showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon and evening here, especially for our eastern zones. And then by the time we get to Tuesday morning and uh, much of Tuesday here, we're going to be seeing a moisture streaming in from Marco, and that's going to provide quite a bit of scattered shower and thunderstorm activity through much of the day and even continuing into the nighttime as that uh, moisture and at least a little bit of instability spins around that low center as it moves off towards Towards the east. Would not be surprised if we saw a similar setup on Wednesday, even though that system's getting a little bit farther away. However, we're going to have the deep tropical moisture in place and uh, mix that with a little bit of sunlight, and uh, essentially we have showers and thunderstorms. So, um, not shocking to see fairly uh, conducive conditions, at least right now, and uh, where why Laura could potentially be a Category 2 hurricane. Sea surface temperatures are well above uh, where they're supposed to be for this time, and again, uh, more than available for rapid. Uh, development here. So again, uh, as we go through the long range forecast, Tuesday into Wednesday looks to be the highest impact from Marco, at least with just some general showers and thunderstorms. Bigger impacts come for Thursday for the Arklamis for Laura, and then moisture sticks around for the end of the week into the weekend.